James Usher was Archbishop of the Church of Ireland between 1625 and 1656. He believed the Word of God and was a prolific scholar who most famously published a chronology that purported to establish the time and date of creation based on the biblical record as 4004 BC according to the Julian calendar. His findings were based upon accurate and correct interpretations of the Bible documented throughout the Old Testament. As a young man, he resolved to devote himself wholly to the work of the church and the work of the Lord. From his early school days he excelled in history and from the time he was 20 for the next two decades he read every history book he could get his hands on. He excelled in church history and prepared several large authoritative works dealing with the Irish and English churches from the times of the Apostles. Usher first made the assumption that the Bible was the only reliable source document of chronological information for the time periods covered in the Bible. In fact, before the Persian Empire, very little is known about Greek, Roman, and Egyptian history or the history of other nations. Much rests on speculation and myths. Dates in secular history become more certain with the founding of the Medo-Persian Empire in the 7th century BC. For events before this time, Usher relied solely on the date from the Bible to erect his historical framework. He chose the death of Nebuchadnezzar as a reliable date to anchor all the earlier biblical dates to. Hence, working backward from that date, he ended up with his date for creation in 4004 BC. Not everyone agrees with his work. Some Christians rely much more on speculative dates as more reliable than the Bible. Let's face it, there was a bishop in the Middle Ages there, uh, 1800 something. Uh, who added up the dates listed uh, in Genesis, and he came up with the world that had been around for 6,000 years. There ain't no way that's possible. You know, anybody that's in the oil business knows that he's drilling down. He drilled down 2,000, uh, excuse me, two miles, three miles, four miles underground. You're coming into all these layers that were laid down by the dinosaurs. And we have skeletons of dinosaurs that go back about uh, 1.65 million years. And to say that it all came about in 6,000 years is just nonsense. And I think the time we, we come off of that stuff and say this isn't possible. And, but I mean, so there was a big bang. So <clears throat> that doesn't mean it came spontaneously. Nobody knows what caused the big bang, but I say God did it. God's in charge of all this. God's in control. And um, he is the author of all life. But um, we've got to be realistic that the dating of Bishop Usher just doesn't comport with anything that is found in science. And, and you know, you, you can't just totally deny um, the geological formations that are out there, the rock formations and all the things that go all over the world, especially the bones. And we, we have found uh, a, a Pterosaurus rex out there in the it was Oregon or someplace, I mean, a full skeleton. And that baby was laid down about 65 million years ago. So, I mean, let's, let's be real. Let, let's, not be, uh, let's not make a joke of ourselves. <clears throat> but I don't believe in so-called evolution as it is currently presented as, as non-theistic. I believe that God started it all, and he's in charge of all of it. But the fact that you have uh, progressive evolution under his uh, control, that doesn't hurt my, my faith at all. But uh, I, this thing, you know, we just can't be playing this usher. Bishop Usher, God bless him, rest his soul in peace. He was just off. Let me remind you that the question is not what we believe about the age of the earth. The question is what we believe about the authority of the Word of God.